Hey guys, Hell Jackie here, coming at you with another kind of overview or tutorial, if you will, of like all the different road menus. So this one's by popular demand. I am going to go over the networks in the road menu that are transportation menu that are not roads or highways. I just leveled a bunch of terrain there for you, and uh, yeah, so I did I did a tutorial on roads and highways, but. I'll do the other menus as there's been a lot of popular uh, demand for such a things. Now, I have a massive disclaimer before I begin. These menus, my menus, are going to be looking completely different from anyone else in the entire world. What I've got in my menus are so many custom buildings, lots, stations, transitions, test stuff for the NAM, what have you. It, it is almost it, it, just to take it with a huge grain of salt so I'll go over what I can if you do see something in here that you might want to have more information about or know where to download feel free to drop a comment in the in the video send me a message directly there's also a can't find it ask here thread on Centropolis to uh, you can put you can paste a screenshot of this video or a timestamp and, and, and someone might be able to help you find it but let's get into it uh, you can already see I have two monorail networks that's a bug on my side. You won't actually get this when you install, and this isn't actually monorail either. Uh, it's actually the bullet train mod that I've got custom installed. But let's start off with rail. Rail has had a huge, huge revamp over the uh, recent versions of the NAM. First of all, with the latest version of the NAM, currently 44 out, the real railway texture, what you see here, is the standard or default. And it looks way different than what you would normally see in the standard Maxis. Maxis mod, so you can see, yeah, you still got the old rail building stuff, but you can see how much more realistic-ish it looks. It's, it, it's definitely got a lot more of a real world appeal than, than before, like the tracks are bed and sand. I think the NAM team has done a great job with all the textures and everything. That was a multi-year project and got going. So one thing you can't do with rails, even in the base game without the mod, uh, the network add-on mod, is make 90 degree cur curves. So if I go and drag, sure, you can make an intersection, you can't do that because you can't make a, uh, a 90 degree curve in one tile. Same here, I can't actually do that. It actually shows you a little bit of the old rail network just telling you how unsupported it is. So don't, uh, don't do that. You can see the difference here in the textures as well, just how different that is. So just a note, those are things, those are the kind of the no-nos, but everything else seems to be pretty well enabled. So let's just go through a standard, oops, that, I'm not on highways, I'm on rails. Let's go through a standard curve. So obviously if you want a curve, you gotta go 45 degrees. So let's do that. And you can see that the curve is kind of, oh, there's the other face texture there. The curve is actually kind of going into that tile. Just a teeny, teeny bit. And just that little bit of difference there can give you a much more realistic curve versus the base curve. That's a big improvement. And um, you can also branch it out to go straight and have a connection like that, or even like that. It all kind of branches out. So that's pretty cool, right? I'm not an expert on rails, I don't use them too much, so I'm just going to be going over the basics. There's a lot more tutorials and everything there. If I want to make a curve, I can't do that, I have to drag in like that. But let's say I want to make a cooler curve. Well, there are puzzle pieces that can help you, but you can also do it in the drag method, which is kind of weird. But what you want to do is kind of drag it a little bit this way, and then up a bit, and then it takes a little bit, a little bit of getting used to. There's that old rail texture again, but you can kind of like squiggle it in. And by squiggle it in, I know that's a great technical term. I keep going to highways. Uh, but you, instead of curving it like, I would, I would be curving it up a bit and then out like that, kind of like that, right? But instead, you kind of saw in that little preview that you kind of squiggle it. If you get rid of a couple tiles here, you can kind of curve it in. See how much better that that is? It kind of goes over a couple tiles. That shows that there's some overhang, but when you do that, that's cool. That's a nice, nice curve uh, versus the standard one, again, which looks like this. So you can kind of get a, a before and after look. So if you have enough space to do that, that's a huge way to improve the look of your rail network. So yeah, kudos to the team for that. You can also start like fiddling around a bit and everything, but it's it's a little a little crazy. Just how much you can do with this, uh, with this mod. Now, if you want to go straight, just like before, you can. That's pretty neat, right? I think so. And while we're going into some of those 
uh, curves and things. You can also have it interchange with itself. You can have curves. Let's say you have a dual track boy out here. You can have it kind of come in like that. And if you click just right where that nexus is, right? You can't go here. Actually, you can. You can go here. It doesn't really matter. One or two tiles doesn't matter, but it'll create a nice crisscross. That's pretty neat. And if you want to turn on the uh, the pass, it actually looks kind of cool. So to draw a pass, just to see like the pathing, it's uh, it's Control X and then draw pass. So D R A W P A T H S, and you can kind of see like all those crazy connections here. And then if you ever wanted to get rid of the pathing, uh, you can type in. This is just another debug tool. Uh, and the cheat code's hide pass, so H I T E P A T H S, and it's gone. So I think that's pretty flippin' neat. Looks so much better than the base transitions, which is basically just uh, if I show kind of like. Oh yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> There's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do. That's like a one lane single transition. You can have it kind of go like that, and then like that if you don't want it all so close together. But you can see it doesn't quite agree with me sometimes. Like that. It doesn't like you. It doesn't like doing that. You have to drag it a bit more. Yeah, that's a pretty weavy rail line. So, yeah, that's that's rails in a nutshell. They've done a great job with everything. Uh, so let's go to... I'm actually going to skip these for a bit. I'm going to go to the uh, overpasses here for, for rails, just to keep it all centric to rails. So this is your on-slope transition. So you want to build a bit of a slope before you do that. And that's level one. And then you can press tab. Make it level two. Wow, that's a lot steeper, right? And you even have diagonal ones, which are very cool for one and two levels. And then there's the standard one where you don't have a slope. You can have it kind of go up like that. And one for two levels, quite long, a lot longer than the base one. And there's even a level one to level two if you wanted to go even higher, you can put that in. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's throw in a couple slopes, uh, which are actually found in here as well. Believe. Yep, it's the whole digger and razor lots. So, you can kind of click that and this will raise it 15 meters. If you press tab, it'll raise it 7.5 meters. And you just want to click on the road network. Even a rail will be fine. Let's do rail since we're on the rail thing. Kind of just kind of click like that. And kind of like that. And then we can go to those, uh, the elevator railway transition so here's the level one transition and the level two and what's cool about this too is that you can kind of just drag right through there's no other like connectors or starter pieces or anything that you need it knows if it's level one or level two so you can kind of just drag like that drag like that look at that Yeah, there's a lot you can do, but there are some things you still can't do. The, the network is a little limited when you do a few things. Like, you can't make a branch like that. But it's still quite stable. You can't do something like that. That's another kind of S-turn that you can do. J-turn. The ground network. But if you give it enough space, it'll override correctly, and then you can build that. And then those smooth curves. I to see. I'm not the greatest at it. But it supports it, right? That's pretty cool. And again, if you want to go straight, that's something that isn't supported, unfortunately. So not as much compatibility when you go elevated, but it's still quite cool. It's kind of the same with like networks below, right? Like I can drag the base networks below some of these, but not all. So I wanted an RHW network, right? It's going to go through this network, but it won't go diagonal, unfortunately. So not always the most uh, compatible thing, but we're working continuously to get that expanded and enhanced connectivity form functions, right? You can't really do that, even with uh, your basic road. So diagonal is still a little challenging to build sometimes. But going straight's great. And there are always puzzle pieces as well to do that instead, which I'll get into soon. 
So next are all the curve pieces here. They're, they're helpful to try and get some of those curves in that I demonstrated. Because it's sometimes hard, right? You don't know all the drag patterns and everything, so just kind of go through them. There's your basic 45 degree smooth curve. If you want it even smoother, you can put this one. That's my place here. Right, a bit more. between default texture and reskin texture. Oh, this is like a skin texture change. It's actually one I haven't used before. Uh, but we'll go back here. That's really all there are. But you can kind of see the difference in the curvature, right? I'll just drag this out a bit more so you can see. And I can even put the base one in. Right, which also actually improved the base curve, so you just see how different that is. Because railways, unlike uh, a lot of roads, right, they are much more strict. You can't build them on much of a slope or a tight turn, right? Even for bullet trains, you know, they're going 300 kilometers an hour or more, you need a very gentle curve with that. So next out is like the splitters or turno pieces is what they call them. So um, here's your regular 45 degree bend. Here's that S turn or J turn. They call it an S bend. Uh, here's a split and another kind of split and another kind of split. Yeah. Uh, three tile transition. Oh, that's if you're using single track rail. I don't use that in my cities, but if you want like a good rural looking s settlement or whatever, you can put in the single track if you want. And yeah, there's that kind of turnover thing when you want to convert directions for single track. People love the single track. You can kind of see what you can do with that, right? Here's a lot of stuff, but here's your default connection uh, from two tracks to one. And that's slightly smoother. Here, I'll put them side by side so you can see. Right, one just comes in a little bit more gently. And then there's even an even crazier one here. Can I even fit it in? I don't know, maybe I'll put it this way so you can see. Where it, you, you branch into one rail and then that rail branches into another. That's, I guess, a realistic configuration for some, uh, some networks, I guess, in the world. And that's what people wanted to model. And then there's more single track branches. This is your dual track, normal split even crazier split. They put a lot of effort into this. There's just so many things you can do, right? Split, split, split. So give this give this a tinker and just, just see what kind of things were, are, what kind of track splits are compatible because there's a lot. I use this one a lot. You can actually drag this. It's a little hard, but uh, another split, diagonal. Here's your crossover. See how that's a little bit neater than just having the base one you see in the preview. And then I think we're going elevated now. Yeah, I think that's about everything. But you can see just how many different kinds of configurations there are. It's crazy. They've done a great job with this real railway mod. I use, I like to use rails, but I'm not like a huge rail fan or rail nerd or whatever you want to call it. I just see the choo-choo. Yeah, to make that crazy, that crazy bend, you kind of have it like curve. I, I even forget what I'm doing. All right, I'm just gonna move on, <laughs> just because I don't want to uh, make this go too long. Uh, so next is your fractional angle pieces. Yes, rail can go fractional angle if you want. So it kind of tells you the direction to put things in, and then you can kind of put those, uh, you know, just the normal drag, right? Look at that, right? And then it knows. It knows. That it's smart. It understands. Like, I can't do that. I can't do that. But yeah. You can use the tiles. I usually don't play with the grid on, but you can kind of use the tiles and see. Right now, you're going to start here, and I'm going to drag. It gives you a nice nice curve just drag because with the base network unlike roads you can't do that right so a small tidbit back to the uh to the roads you can kind of drag them yourself right like you can go like that and it will already start doing it for me but it's not as smooth 
It's a little bit more jagged, so that's the difference there. Okay. Next, single track rail. I don't really use that a lot, so I'm going to skip it, but I'll, I'll show real fast. Just all the different starter pieces and curves. But if you ever wanted to override, turn it into single track. No, you can't. You basically have all those connectors as, as before. Double track switch pieces. I might have some duplicates in my menu, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Again, it's because I'm doing testing and my plugin folders are sometimes quite, quite a mess. But, uh, yeah. And then we are getting to the uh, puzzle pieces. And these are still useful in those configurations that I showed you. So here's your standard start and end right from level 1 to, sorry, level 0 to level 2. The old 15 meter puzzle piece. You can just see how much smoother the new, the new piece is here. So if I go to two levels, look at that difference. Right? Which one looks better? I can drag out of this one. But I can't drag out of this one. I gotta put puzzle pieces in. Plop, 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 right? People hated that, so we did that. We don't have smooth curve support either, right? You gotta put in all that stuff, but oh no, there is some smooth curves, I guess. And you can even mix and match if you ever needed to, right? So I could plop that in and it would work, even though I dragged that other part. So that's kind of a beauty there. It, it still works in some tight situations, and it's good for uh, just grandfathering some, some connections in from, from older cities. And then, of course, we have the track splits, and then going over some networks. So if I demonstrate before, let's kind of get rid of that. Right, I couldn't get this um, elevated rail not elevated rail, but raised rail, I would call it, right over this avenue. So let's let's do the avenue just so you can see easy here, right? It, oh, actually, it lets me do it. I just needed enough tiles on each side. Maybe if I do level one, but I'm I'm not going to get into it. But let's say let's say this didn't work. Let's do let's do RHW. Let's build a real highway so you can kind of see it a bit better here. Yeah, okay. So see how that's kind of messed up? Now you could, you could convert to road, get it to work. Let's find something that doesn't. Of course things work right when I want them to break. Things break when I want them to work. But let's say let's say this, this looked just like the RHW or something. You know, you're making things a little bit too tight, right? Like let's say I wanted that curve right here. And I wanted that curve over here. Come on. Right? It's not going to like me. It's not going to like me. Even if I put in those transitions again. Level 2. So we'll put that in. Okay, it does like me. Well, it doesn't work for certain networks. <laughs> you can put that in if you wanted to. So you can pop in the, um, it never really worked for you. Why do I keep going to highways? You can put in those crossings. There's all kinds of them here. Use the avenue. It didn't quite work for you. Yeah, let's do that one. I don't think that one is supported. Watch it be supported. Just so you can see. Okay, so I'll build that up. Give it a drag. And will it let me do it diagonally? Oh, okay. Things are getting more stable than when I last tried to build something like this. But you can plop those in if you wanted to. They're, they're all there. Uh, next up is RHW. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. This is mostly grandfathered for, for other networks. But you can put them all in here. But it's not a problem when you drag them through. They're perfectly fine. So 
if I wanted to. They're, they're gonna be, they're gonna be just fine, so. I'll show them real quick. I want the, yeah, that one. If I wanted my rail to go over my freeway, it's not a problem at all. Just make a big boy. No problem at all, right? Just can't go diagonally. But see how that like little gap in the middle is a little off? It doesn't actually connect with the median. So what I could do is I could use that network eraser, put that in, and then use the override. I think the override's only for level two, so it's gonna look a little weird, but put that in. And yeah, see how you got that median now? A bit nicer. But anyways, you get what I mean, right? Fix that up, make that level two, and you have that nice medium in the middle rather than nothing. So that's about it for rail. Uh, so next up, things are going to get a little crazy because this is the monorail, but it's bullet train. It's the bullet train mod, which I have that it replaces the monorail. You can also get hybrid rail or high-speed rail. Very similar to the rail network and monorail, right? You can't make can't make an intersection like that, it's got to go all the way through. Curves are very, very sharp initially, but that's kind of how it was made. But there are a few pieces, a uh, few puzzle pieces that can help you. I think these are close to the bottom. Excuse the mess. Uh, there's high monorail, which kind of puts it a little bit even higher. And <laughs> that's quite the slope, right? But that's what we had back in the day. And then, of course, puzzle pieces for the very high rails were without support. And if you want to go over a bunch of networks, they were all here with the high. Like, to get over an elevated highway, that's how you would do it. And then, more importantly, though, is the curves, because this gives you smoother curves for a very high-speed network, which is kind of what you want versus a, uh, a steep thing. So it's kind of what makes it a bit faster. If you ever wanted to curve things, you could do some good Tokyo drifts. And uh, <laughs> this is quite the line. It's almost like I'm building like a roller coaster at a theme park or something here. Or a scenic tram. But yeah, that's the bullet train mod. Not a whole lot to say. It's got its own thread and everything, and it'll come back to the NAM at some point. Right now it's not supported for a lot of networks, but uh, yeah. So next up is a bunch of clutter in my Rails network. This is actually all an airport. It's in the Rails network just because that's where it went. They're all called train generators, which is weird. Uh, next up is underground rail. So you can do that by kind of putting these, like you have a rail runner running underneath this road. You can kind of see them in the preview, right? In that curve where it was. So it, that's kind of how that works. It's kind of a neat feature if you want it to run underneath some things. Or even have it kind of go like that. I haven't used this too much. But it's all here if you'd like to have it. Basically you can have a rail run right underneath the road. It's similar to a subway, but they're all, uh, all traffic. And then there's that right the tunnel ramp. To, to make things kind of start and stop. That's how you would kind of put it in. So yeah, that's it. And then there's some more, if you ever wanted it, have it kind of go over some pad balls and things. It's all here for you. Again, intersections. If you ever wanted to go over a bunch of roads, that's what that taps for. Etc. Etc. And then there's some stations. I've got custom stations. Some of these are included in the NAM. So this is like a really tight station for two rail tracks. You can kind of have that run through just like that. It's kind of how you build a station. I think most people have built a station before. And uh, next up is just a whole bunch of stations. Like I said, this menu is a little cluttered. But you can kind of get it right bullet train stations. Some of them, some of the larger stations too even have a subway connection, so I think this one. Uh, if I 
tanks. I have a look under the ground. I'm just gonna go to miscellaneous transportation. Oh, that one doesn't have it. Some of the some of the bigger stations have uh, some way connectors. Yeah, so Tokyo Station, that's another download. This one's huge, um, but it connects to like bullet train and elevated rail and stuff. It also has a subway connection too, so to hook that up, you would go click on the subway, and then it looks like a little station here, and then there's that little, that little tile, just make sure your subway goes right through it, to make sure it's connected. You don't have to connect it here, that's not needed. That's a big station. There's big stations, small stations, diagonal stations, elevated stations, multi network stations, basically any kind of station you would ever want. Lots of hubs. I'm not going to get into it. Your standard freight rail station, right? This is the base one in the game. Just moves freight, and then the passenger, if they want to think this further up. I think that's really it for the rails. So I'll move on uh, to miscellaneous transportation. This is a huge network. It's going to be a lot to take in, but here's elevated rail. Nanan hasn't done too, too much with the base elevated rail. Right, there are still no smooth curves for it, for instance. You still have to kind of curve it like that, but its network compatibility is getting better, and there's a reskin that's been in the talk, been in the talks forever that's actually coming in, so you can't really do that, right? You can have it go all the way through. Still got to curve at 45 degrees, at least on the elevated, but this turns into light rail as well. And when you make it light rail, it's expecting you to be using like streetcars or trams or something, and they can make a more tight turn. Subway. I mean, there's really not much to say about Subway. It's still an underground thing. You can do whatever you want. You can cheat the hell out of the game if you want to make a crazy underground network that's, you know, got five lines and five tiles. It's a must for, for big cities that have insane traffic issues. Even on some of the higher simulators, you can still have a lot of traffic traffic simulators. Okay, uh, networks, hole diggers, here's your light rail stuff. So there's starters and puzzle pieces, and then there's also in the middle of avenues and roads. So here's your starter. Doesn't look like much, right? But if I go and grab the elevated rail network, what do you know? It overrides, right? It looks like that. And now I've got light rail. And like I was saying, you can curve it 45 degrees. I can't do that with elevated rail. If you're using like little tiny trams or whatever, you know, they can make that tight turn if you want to. So there's a whole bunch of starters actually too, just depending on how you want uh, your network to look. So that's your basic starter. You can have it on the angle or with a different texture. Like no, this one doesn't have any sidewalks up the side, right? Here's from elevated rail down to ground light rail. Uh, elevated to rural, okay, so that's the difference. Just looks a little different, that, that sidewalk texture is gone. Right here's your little loop at the end of a line if you want to curve things around. Kind of do it like that. Again, without any texture if you want. So that's your starters. Lots to go around. Uh, next up are your puzzle pieces. This if I just want to click, click, click. Like I said, my, my textures will probably look a lot different from yours. Time, right? Plop, plop. So the drag is so much better. You get some weird textures too if you ever wanted them. Yeah, get the gist of it. This is a bunch of stuff. This is kind of fun, right? And then all your curves and things, and crossing networks. It's all here. But obviously, dragging is a lot easier. The exception is if you want it in the middle of a road or an avenue, you still gotta plop that for in most cases. So here's your tram and avenue. Where you got a streetcar streetcar ring in the middle of your road. But what's actually pretty neat is 
instead of doing all that, right? Because that's a lot of work, right? Plop, plop, plop. And then I want an intersection. And then I gotta go back. Right? What I mean, you can do. This is kind of fun. You can drag an avenue. And then. Right to the middle. Doing it? Okay. It's been a while since I've done this. I got it. I got it to work. I'm just gonna have to redo this here. You drag. Just a little bit. It'll override. Just a little bit. See that? That's a little finicky. I'm probably not doing it right, but you can kind of drag it in. It makes things better. You just can't drag for too long, I guess. Kind of have to watch that there. It's kind of cool because you can put. I guess you still need the intersection pieces for that. You can kind of drag it a bit differently. I'm trying to make things a little bit easier on everybody. That's another alternative way of doing it. Next up, it's a similar deal. It's Tram and Road. So this is where you have. line in the middle, so a really tight street. Kind of put that in here. Have a curve. Things are very tight, but that's kind of how it works. Not much more to say. It's very similar to the Avenue one. Uh, tram and Road, again, similar. This one just has that inner lane for tram only. Not as pretty. Lower road capacity use, but it's all there. What's next? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got tram on street. If you ever wanted to do that, we've made it. Very specialized kind of network, but it looks great, especially like in a downtown setting where you want like a, a flex street or something. Uh, underground rail, similar to the underground road, right? You could have that kind of go under. And then the next one is the FULP or FLEP. So this is how you can have things kind of go under. So you can have that rail line kind of go under. And then if I wanted to build, let's say an avenue and I didn't want to have a crossing at grade, I can sink it, but not quite like a subway, right? Even though it's elevated rail, I can just have it kind of go below. And then here I can select the puzzle piece that I want. And just make sure it's pointing the right way. So see how it says straight under avenue? I don't want that. It might need to rotate it a bit. That intersection. It's been a while. That's for, this is actually for uh, tram in the middle of the avenue. You can have it kind of go down below as well. Kind of funky. Let's try that again here. Straight underground tram parallel under avenue. Parallel means it's running along the side. for underground tram it'll work I might have to tell that to the team I can't get a straight connection on this one it might be something I'll have to report to the name team but either way that that crossing will work the other paths will just be incompatible so again if I do that draw pass thing oh it doesn't really show it too well actually the underground it kind of sucks but it is there uh high pass Very similar to having it on the uh, in the middle of the avenue. Just now, it's above. 
gives it kind of a more urban feel. Especially like that, right? Like this gives you like a very you know, downtown Chicago feel or Brooklyn or something where there's elevated rails or even without a connector. You don't want support pieces there all the time. I don't use this stuff, but it's there. It's there for you if you want it. Okay, and some weird thing here, have it go over road. Kind of reminds me of Grand Theft Auto 4, if anybody's played that. I think your starting safe house is on a road, it's on a house that's connected to one of these roads. You got the rail up above. You can hear the trains all hours of the day. But it's convenient, you know, it's, the station's pretty close. All right, what else we got here? Um, alternative styles for light rail. So if I wanted like the grass, texture. I could just put that in instead. There's lots of skins, kind of like the street add-on mod. So that's kind of pretty. Okay, what else we got? High elevated rail. I showed this with the monorail, but if you ever needed to go higher up, you can. So if I wanted to go over... If I wanted this to go over an elevated highway, <coughs> excuse me, I could put it like that, elevated highway, like that, and at least here, the two won't uh, intersect. But the thing is, you can also just drag it. You can have it go under, right? You could tr transition it to ground light rail, or you can even just drag it. This is actually a base in the game, I think. Or a very early NAND install. Sometimes my mind's a bunch, but you can kind of have it go over like that. They even put base functionality in for the um, for the bullet train mod. So if I go back here, you can kind of see how that works. It worked at one point. Maybe it doesn't work anymore. Again, it's a data network. But there used to be a connection for that, because people would hate putting monorail over. You'd have to like lower the highway just to tile. It looked really funky, but it would get the job done. A lot of my early cities had that. The elevated highway would go down for just a, just a teeny bit. Let's see if I can change it here. I think that's just too close. Monorail or bullet train over. Looks awful. It's a bumpy ride, but you know you could do it like that. Alright. Getting deeper into my menu, things are gonna start looking a little weird. Uh, there's network widening mod intersections that you can put for this uh, elevator rail over road. So there's a lot of functionality here, right? to do all that it's all here which is excellent and then below us is some custom stuff so i've got hov lanes these are customized they kind of act as a bus stop they're not part of that damn or anything but you can see the texture is a little different they just kind of act as a bus stop and there's one lane of roads as well it's all going to look a little different we're gonna get in a very customized spot. So here's like where a lot of my plugins will install. So I got speed signs, they're just plops. And what's next? Some other plops for stations, right? I've got like a bus terminal. Just an expanded bus stop. Oop. Or like a huge bus terminal. This one's kind of cool too, because you can put the um Right, the one-way roads in, kind of like that. It's a transit-enabled lot, which is pretty cool. Lots of stuff you can download. Just, just look for it. If anyone's curious, this one's—it's just called Bus Stop. But Google Bus Terminal in Centropolis. You probably get this one here too. Uh, here's your basic bus stop. Nothing fancy there. Just your basic bus stop. And then some specialty bus stops. This is a download you can make which turns uh, Ground Lake Rail into rail. So 
So let's say I had a rail line and I wanted to transition it to light rail. I can kind of drag rail. It would kind of do a rough conversion for you here. So you, it's not the prettiest thing. You'd have, probably have to override this. Here, let's put that in there. Oops. Yeah, so not the best looking thing, but there's two different networks. That's just a way to kind of blend them together. Let's go deeper. Uh, these are some transitions. I think they're available in the NAM. Better transitions. They don't have any descriptions. I think I've got some below that too. Uh, run like rail to subway transitions. So this will turn it into subway network. Just a way to connect networks together. Obviously, this is the base one from the uh, Fresh Hour game. Rail, that's ground right rail to subway, that's rail to, to subway. That's the difference. And then these are longer transitions of them. So again, looks much better than the base game, right? And this one actually kind of keeps going underground, so that'd be subway to elevated rail. And then just rail or light rail to subway. So yeah, different ways of doing it. Car parks, parking garages, here's your tram station if you want to put one in the middle of your avenue. Or you can just kind of plug that in. Video's getting kind of long, so I'll just keep trucking some parking. Some cool ones, like this underground parking one I like. It acts just like the parking garage, um, but instead it just looks cooler, right? You have like a nice little spinny, spin down, you can do a good Tokyo drift down there. And it's similar to the standard parking garage that you get. More and more stations, lots and lots of stations. Here's uh, the actual one uh, from Caribou. This one has a description at least. Same thing, just put the description. I used to have the old mods installed and I never bothered to get rid of them. Uh, your basic stations, multi network stations, some way to elevate a transition. That's, I think that's the base one actually. That one's messed up. But it was there in the base game, so you got you got that going for us. Basic subway station. Okay, nothing special. More parking stuff. Bus fillers. I'm not gonna get into that. Your basic public parking garage is here. So again, these two are similar. This is just a base game. So this has got 30,000 cars for some reason. I don't know how you could get 30,000 cars in that little tiny lot, but at least this one has more modest 10,000 cars, and you go how many the floors underground? I don't know. Alright. Toll booths, more parking stuff, multimodal stations. And then they got some old, old digging stuff. My menu is kind of a mess. Uh, sound walls I have in this menu, all the old ground lifters and transitions and underground rail connectors. If you ever wanted to run under Grand Rail underneath some grass, you can kind of do that. And that's it for, for miscellaneous transportation. I can't reach the end of that menu. Airports, my airport menu is a mess too, but I'll, I'll quickly go through it. Everybody knows we don't know the as your airports reach capacity, your base ones, you can actually have them upgraded to medium or, or high density. So first you got your landing strip, which provides you with, oh, I can't really show it, but I'm going real fast. I'm just gonna build them real fast here. My whole simulation, the whole game's breaking right now. It's not this small. The modular one. Yeah, I don't even know. Already occupied. You can see just the difference. This one plop for a part of the runway is longer than this airstrip. But the airstrip's fun because you can you can pilot these vehicles, right? The other airport plops and things don't have it. You have to have this one. So capacity is very much increased. But with this plop down, you can. 
yourself into a get yourself into a plane and have some fun. It's not realistic at all. How do I how do I lift off? It's been a while since I controlled the plane. Uh, e. I can go without going back on the airstrip. You should do some UDI videos with that. Anyways, that's your airstrip, and it makes like a nice little color. If ever wanted to do that, only the airstrip will provide you with that. That'll stay around for a bit. You can see it's already starting to go away. All right, what's next in my cluttered airports menu? There's there's medium, or municipal airport or medium airport, and then there's international. I'll plop that just so you can kind of see. Not realistic at all, but if you need an airport in town, it'll do the job. SimCity 4 was never imagined in the scale um, that when it that it was in. And you can kind of see that that one just built right away for some reason. I think this terminal's model after JFK, if I'm not mistaken. York. Uh, I don't think there's much else on my airport menu. There's a transit parking one, which is kind of cool. You can build a, a space shuttle launch too when you have the tech. Uh, I think that's somewhere here. And I got like all kinds of jet gates and jetways if I want to build my own custom airport. There's so much crap you can download. Menu's just a mess. Sometimes I'll take this whole, all these plugins out of my folder to make it a little bit more compatible and a little bit faster loading times. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. where's the airport tram? If you want airport capacity and you don't want an airport, you can sometimes build the tram center. I just forget where it is. Let's see, another quick one's over. a one tile thing you can plop sometimes. I'm probably forgetting where it is. I thought I had a little car on it, but yeah, you can download some oh there's a P there. That's concourse. Points over. I don't know, I'm not gonna go through it, but there are things you can download that are just like a couple of tiles and will give you airport commercial cap relief. And of course, these expand with demand, right? If you get close to demand, you can upgrade a little bit more. Uh, Seaports is the last one. I guess I should get some water for that. through some of these. I don't have a lot installed here, but your basic ferry terminal for passenger. You just have to connect it up to a road network. And then obviously the car and passenger, you will definitely want a road network. So connect this in. Sometimes I make it kind of fun. Right, it's two roads that kind of come out. So obviously that's not gonna connect to an avenue well, but you can kind of drag an avenue in like that look kind of fun. I'm not doing a tutorial about slopes, but I'll fix that slope. <laughs> you kind of have it done like that to make things a bit more seamless. Or you could put in a roundabout if you wanted to as well. What you do is you connect a couple of one-way road stubs. like a little bit of a, a break and you can connect another road here if you wanted to. Uh, I think I'm overdoing it here. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much. But anyways, that's the gist of it. Let's do one side. Once I do two, it gets a little too confused. I'm, I'm doing too much. So that's your ferries. Obviously, you build a ferry on the other side of the game to learn uh, where, where things go. 
Uh, I guess I got a cruise ship here. It's uh, one of the largest cruise ships in the world right there. Just a plop. I guess it goes there. Uh, weird place for a ship, for sure. Uh, your seaport, again, very similar to... We have... I like to stick a... Even though it doesn't quite connect very well. Uh, the way. I think I made this too steep. Yeah, give me a second here. Oh, yeah, I got a big tank here. Just gonna flatten this up. roads to connect to it. There is a rail. So, obviously that's not going to look too good. Even the rail looks a little weird, but you can kind of fudge it a bit. I delete that, and I build my rail one track further, and I use this network eraser. There's no, work, no longer stubs there, right? And then I can... Oh, that's the airport. Go away. And if I'm careful, I pop it in the right spot. Which I didn't. I go one tile over. You can kind of get it to line up. A little bit. Just a little bit for realism, but there's all kinds of ports and stuff you can download that make it look a lot better. But for the base C port, that's it. I've got this giant tanker, which is in no way in the scale. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should get rid of that. You can just see the difference in detail, right? Uh, I'm a rudder ferry connector. Kind of flops, you can put things in. I'm not going to get into that because I don't know how it works. And then your marina, I guess I gotta put in a code you don't deserve. Is this on fire? It's on fire! That's what I get for not putting in a um, fire station, right? Seaport's on fire. Okay, so with that done, I just close the menu, reload it. Here's the marina. Uh, I can't even level the terrain while I'm on fire. No, 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 no. And the marina's fun mostly for it, it populates your water with all kinds of watercraft. If you don't have it in, it won't. So if I put this in, that looks terrible. I just wanted to show this, it's the last thing I want to do here. This, this populates your water with watercraft. Yeah, I don't understand. What's wrong with my marina? I'll have to check that out. But uh, either way, with that installed, so you get like a ship here. You might get like a little, yeah, a couple of boats flying, floating around. So make sure you pop a marina if, if you don't use it for the UDI vehicles. But I mean, you want the snazzy cigar boat. I don't know why anybody would want that. Wouldn't want that. Let's crash. Let's crash. 
<laughs> Make it this day. Yeah, so anyways, that, hopefully that was helpful. Kept it under an hour, which is good. And uh, yeah, that's the rest of the road menu. Uh, I know the rest of the things look bad. I'm hoping it was helpful. I know rail probably helped most people out. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, this is Hal Jackie signed off. Have a good one, guys, and I'll, I'll see you for the next one. Talk to you later.